Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another Tool Tuesdays here on the farm. Today we're out of the shop. The weather is cool. It's absolutely wonderful and we're going to be opening up a new tool. This is a Titan Attachment 6 foot finish mower that we're going to be putting behind our Massey Ferguson 240 tractor. So we've been doing a whole lot of cutting on the farm with the Ventrac tractor and we need a buddy for it, a finish mower buddy. And this could be the solution. So come along today as we unbox this thing or uncrate it. We'll cut it out of its crate. We'll assemble it. We'll put it together. We'll show you how it works and we'll put it to the test out in the field. All right. Woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. So guys, before we even get started talking about this finish mower, I want to talk about all this stuff that's all around us. So we're gonna kind of walk around the tools that are up here in our barnyard or our tractor yard here and tell you about what they are and everything before we get started because there's just so much going on. If you caught the last video, that's our batwing bush hog that we're gonna rescue. We've gotta fix it all up. So let's just kind of go from start to finish. If you're new to the channel, be sure you pound the like button, subscribe to the channel. We've got all kinds of fun stuff going on here all the time. So we have several attachments here. This is a bale spear, a row better, and a box scrape. This is our broadcast spreader. There are two sets of pallet forks, one that bolts to a bucket and one that just mounts up to the tractor. That is a six foot Woods BB 84. That's not a six foot. <laughs> That's a seven foot uh, scrape blade right there. It articulates in all sorts of directions. This is our Kubota. Right here is our fencing. This is tornado wire from our fence project. And these are our posts. We have all steel posts on our fence project here on the farm. That is another Titan Attachments tool that we're gonna be showing sometime very soon. We're gonna be working up our driveway. That's a box scrape. All these little tools you see here, they're all Ventrac tools. So there is a stump grinder over there, a tiller. That is a power rake. And over here is a bucket and a finish mower. The finish mower that we mow most of the farm with is right over there. And that's what we've been building our pastures with. And this is our gigantic batwing bush hog that we picked up from my dad. So that kind of clears up all the clutter in the background that you're gonna see in case you have any questions about that stuff. We also have some other goodies in here in the shed, but we're not gonna go into that right now. Let's get busy unboxing this thing. We've got to cut this crate off. So the first thing we got to do is we got to cut this frame off. Typically these are bolted together, but this one was welded together around this piece of of equipment so it holds it very very well one thing i've noticed from all of my titan attachments tools that we've gotten is that they're very well packed so that they don't get damaged in shipping very very important now we're going to use a pretty cool tool this is a milwaukee reciprocating saw but it doesn't have like the trigger the big old reciprocating saw like a sawzall type this is pretty simple pretty easy to use and we're just gonna zip these right into Ooh, that thing's shaking my brain out. <laughs> Ooh, it's pinching. I need to hit it from the other side. Four minutes in and I'm already out of breath. <laughs> this thing's awesome. And it's fun to drop. All right, so just like any God-fearing American, I didn't read the instruction book, but <laughs> I had to read the instruction book. So basically, we've got two bars that go down in the back and two bars that come up here in the front, and they all mount on this center pivot right here. And it just simply hooks to the tractor on the three-point. You raise it up, and then we'll set our wheels to the appropriate height that we want to mow. So we'll get busy here. All the nuts and bolts are already in place all the way around right here. So we just have to loosen them. It's an 18 millimeter or three quarter inch uh, ratchet will work. So get everybody loose, ready to rock and roll. High quality materials, paint looks good. Everything looks awesome. I can't see why this thing won't kick some butt here on the farm. Pretty happy. Let's get busy. Lefty Lucy. All of the arms that go on this thing come with the nuts and bolts pre-attached so that you can't lose them, which is pretty handy. And this also comes with a PTO shaft, so you can't lose it either. Pretty cool. I'm going to whip this job out real quick, and then we'll throw it on the tractor. 
we've learned a little bit as we put this thing together. So when we get done, I'm going to go over everything in case you just bought one of these and you're trying to figure it all out, trying to get your head wrapped around it. If you guys are considering the purchase of a finished mower for your farm or for your place, there's a coupon code down in the video description and a link to this thing. The coupon code is STONYGRASS, S-T-O-N-E-Y-G-R-A-S-S, -S, because we use mowers to make our grass grow here on the farm. There are some simple little tips I can give you once I get this all assembled that will save you some time and some frustration. We do it right because we do it twice sometimes. So I put it together the hard way the first time and then I figured it all out. I'll tell you all about it. Let's get finished up. All right, good to go. All put together. This took about 10 minutes to put together. No problem. All right, we're going to get you close-ups of all the connections right here. And we still got to put our discharge chute on there and we've got to put our PTO shaft. Should be really quick. So as we approach this from the rear, you have four arms, two short arms that go on the front area here and two long arms that go down to the back. There's a bolt there, there's a bolt there. Everything right now is just loosely attached and we'll go ahead and snug everything up. So you got a bolt there, bolt there, bolt across the middle and two bolts in the back. And then for our discharge chute that's going on, there are four bolts that are across the back side right here and we'll install the discharge chute. For all the loose parts that come on this, they're all twisted on with these metal twist ties. So you know they're not gonna come loose. And they're very, very secure. So we've gotta loosen that up and install the PTO shaft. So our PTO shaft is labeled this end to the tractor, this end to the implement. So that end goes on the implement and it's just the push button type release for the PTO shaft, just slides right on. And then you wanna make sure that we hang our chain up so that the PTO shaft doesn't catch us and twist us up and turn us into little bitty pieces of meat and send us to the hospital. Be very, very careful with PTO shafts, guys. Very careful. Good deal. This is our Massey Ferguson 240 tractor. I think it's around a 1986 model. Very, very, very nice tractor, been restored. our top link real quick and get her all hooked up and we'll shut the tractor down before we hook up our PTO shaft. Alright our tractor is shut down and we'll slide on our PTO shaft. Very very quick very simple. Popped in place get our safety chain latched up where it needs to be and we're good to go. up with our three-point ear. We've got everything raised up. Probably should put some jack stands underneath this thing before we start working on it. I'm not really going to do that. So we're just going to install the, uh, the rear guard on here and then we're going to fold the wheels out, bolt them on, and set the level. So there are two bolts right here and two bolts right here. We'll loosen those bolts and install the wheels very, very firmly. All right, so you loosen these two bolts. One goes that way, one goes that way, and you just slide this wheel apparatus right up on here. We'll slip that bolt in, slip that bolt in. There we go. So a little tip here, when it's sitting on the ground, this wheel will be jacked up. So you wanna put them all in the upright, the highest position you can get them in. Now guys, as with any piece of equipment, I don't care if it's a bicycle, a tricycle, a zero turn mower, or a mowing deck like this. When you assemble this thing the first time, expect it to loosen them just a little bit. So be sure after your first hour or so, or 30 minutes or so, go through and recheck all your nuts and bolts and make sure everything's nice and secure. It'll save you some heartache down the road. Okay, so here's how you adjust the depth of your wheel and it's pretty much set kind of on the lowest setting. These little spacers right here come off, so you just slide this down, and we're gonna put the biggest spacer down here on this shaft, and then we're gonna slip it back up, put the other spacers back in place, and then we'll replace our pin, 
and that's how we're gonna adjust it. I think that'll probably be the proper adjustment for the height that I want. If I wanna go down a little bit, I can always adjust it in the field, raise it back up, and just change it over really, really quick. Got grease fittings all over this thing. Be sure, if you use this thing for about an hour, pull these covers and check your belt tension. Make sure your belt is tensioned very well, and also there is a sight glass over here on the transmission of this machine right here and that side glass tells me this thing is absolutely devoid of fluid so it's shipped without any fluids so we'll pop that off and we'll put some gear oil in there now this rear guard is heavy 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 steel this probably weighs about 45 pounds it's really thick and it has these nice chains to keep from slinging stuff out the back of it and hitting your dog or hitting your wife or hitting your kids or hitting that truck that you like so much that's parked on the side of the field <laughs> all right we're good to go. Everything's all snugged up and tight. We're going to go down. We'll fill up with gear oil. I'm going to use 80, 90 weight gear oil on this and we'll hit all of our grease fittings with a little bit of grease and we'll start mowing. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about lubrication and maintenance. Obviously, you just saw that you're gonna need a funnel with a very, very skinny head to get in there and fill it up with fluid. Everything bolted together nicely. I'm gonna say probably a total of about 45 minutes assembly time. If you need to make an adjustment to the belt or change the belt, there are two covers right here that you can take off. Or if you just need to tighten the belt, there are four bolts that you loosen here. Let me get you a close up. So you'll loosen these four bolts on this side and this thing slides, the gearbox slides and adjust with this guy right here. So that's how you tighten up your belt system in here. Enough talk, let's get to work, man. <laughs> Well, we got our daily dose of work and our daily dose of grease. I got to mow. I'm going to mow until about dark, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Tool Tuesday. I have a little concern. It cuts so short, so I have it in the maximum position right now, and it's still cutting pretty short, so I might have to do a little bit of tweaking. I put it up to the highest position, and it's cutting 
I'm gonna say about three inches, something like that. Does a great job. I'm running through tall grass here. This is pasture grass, so it's doing a great job. It distributes the grass well. Pretty happy with it. If you guys wanna check one out, there'll be a link down in the video description. There'll also be a coupon code down there, Stony Grass. So come on back and see me here on the Stony Ridge Farm for another Tool Tuesday. Most of the time we're in the shop. It's always fun when we can get out and have a little bit of fun in the field. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. Pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Facebook if you're not already following us, and we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. All right? Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. So we have a <laughs> and then we'll get putting it. <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's screw this up again. <laughs> that hurt bad. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that got the knee. Get on there, son. <laughs> and make the adjustments necessary to get this thing at the right. There's a mosquito nest on my butt. Oh, get off. <laughs>